Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Are you ready for the true arena? Well, you better be because this is the final part and I hope I am successful. This is going to go through all the EX mode bosses. I've already got all the characters unlocked, but you would have to go through it with Kirby with your on your first run through. So that's what I'm going to be doing, especially since I can get... The spark. <laughs> you can choose whatever power you want to. Unfortunately, there's no sleep power. <sighs> so I guess you can't choose all the powers that you want. Anyway, let's start. The true arena. We got <clears throat> we get Metal General EX. He's gonna charge at you right off the bat, so jump over him, float, and he's gonna go backwards. He always does that on his first attack, so he's kind of predictable in that way. Uh, he's got a couple of mines. He, Metal General EX is basically the same until he gets to half HP like this. Now he's gonna start getting evil. <laughs> he's get, he starts shooting three missiles like this. And then he jumps into the background to make the third. So you can only hit him twice there. Just wait for the missiles to start coming in from the background like this, then run to one side, run to the other side. And then run once again to dodge the last one. Oh, no, oh boy. Now, when they start coming in for a landing, the third one will always have him on top of it. So try and lead it so that you can get hit, get a shot off of him, if at all possible. Uh, I think I missed there. <laughs> but, yeah, he's back in full force. And no, 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 don't you dare shoot. The Actually, those mines are good. They give you plasma. I mean, they give you spark if you don't have it. So that goes... I mean, Metal General is down. Now, if you play through the EX mode already, you'll know that he's got another form. Well, I should say there's another boss right after that. Don't worry, it's coming soon. Uh, next up is Wispy Woods EX. They give you a break between bosses with that Metal General there for some reason. I don't understand why, even though they don't do that in the original mode, which makes it a load harder, especially when you've never played it before. But it's not all that bad once you get the patterns down. Anyway, Wispy Woods will always be and <coughs> Kirby's easiest boss. <laughs> I've said this before many times. No matter how they try to improve Wispy Woods, they can't improve Wispy Woods. <laughs> I, I, it's like they want Wispy Woods to stay incredibly easy. <laughs> Sorry, Wispy. You're still fun to play, though. And your leaves are very pretty. Oh, Landia. This is one of the bosses that I needed to um, get the hang of in the EX mode. Looks like normal Landia until it roars. And it turns bluish purple. Alright, let's take on Landia EX. The first phase, not all that bad except for this air cutter attack. Yeah, I Pokemon reference it. <laughs> the uh, second mode, however, is a little bit unpredictable for the... Uh, person uh, that is used to the original version of these attacks like now he's got this jump between them shoot and jump between them shoot that's how you dodge that now they're gonna be doing hot potato but this one's really really intense because they're gonna start closing in on you as you go see that now get over to the top of them like that and get behind start shooting like mad as much as you can now, if you are in the middle of that, you're almost guaranteed to take a hit because of how intense that gets. It's very hard to dodge that unless you get behind them. And you'll notice I did a very good job on Landia there, and that's only because I practice on it. One of the biggest boss improvements here is Mr. Duder. Mr. Duder EX, to be precise. They improved him greatly, so he's quite a bit harder than his original form. Be on the lookout for these... Uh, extra strength skulls here, which are hard to destroy with your plasma shots. Well, spark shots. Now this attack right here, it homes, ah, it homes in on you, and it's kind of hard to dodge. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure how to dodge that myself. I've only done it a few times by going over him. And once you get into half health, he charges up to his super mode. And now he's going to start trying to trample you from above. Don't worry about it, just keep alternating sides like that and shooting him as he comes down, no problem. And keep putting the pressure on him. He's gonna be, oh shoot, well, look out for this one. <laughs> yes, that fire hurts you as well, it's a, oh, whoa, 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 don't you dare try and grab me, Mr. Duder. I know you put those hands. And 
No, 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 no. There we go. Not too shabby of a run. Uh, depending on the next boss, I might, I may grab a maximum tomato. Oh, sleep power! No, I'm not gonna grab that. I'm not gonna lose my spark. But in the uh, true arena, you've only got three. Oh no, no, no! I didn't mean to. Shoot! I didn't mean to grab this. Cause I may, I may lose this tomato. Uh, you only get three maximum tomatoes, and please tell me I won't loot. Oh, jeez. I guess I lost this tomato. <laughs> well, that was stupid. I didn't, I didn't mean to grab that at all. I'll just leave it off to the side here, just in case I need it, because it'll just sit here, and I'll grab it, like, after this boss battle is over. I should say, after this boss rally is over. Um, they, they remix these, uh, mini-bosses very well in the true arena. They combine the powers of them by giving you two bosses to fight at once. And that is a very interesting turnout, the way that they make they make them work together. And you'll see once I get to the last phase of this how much more how much trouble I'm gonna have here. Now watch. It's gonna be two at once. There's one that covers the land, which is Water Galboros and Dubior. You'll notice that uh, one is in the sky, one is on the ground, and they're gonna try and trap you. <laughs> That's a very, very clever use of the bosses in the game, and that's something that the True Arena does, what the EX mode doesn't, is that it puts enemies in much, uh, of much better use, and the Dubio there has got a flip attack there. As you see, it's easy to dodge if you know what's coming, just like a lot of the EX mode bosses. And I might as well... Oh, I wasted it! I wasted it! I was going to say, I might as well grab the maximum tomato. Oh, this is another. This is a boss that I had a lot of trouble with as well. Even in the original form, Goriath. This is Goriath EX. His attacks are so much more aggressive, so much harder to dodge, and you definitely have to know what's coming and where it's going to happen if you want to survive this boss. <laughs> I, uh, if you were to be playing this on the original, I mean on the EX mode and you don't have the spark power up with you, you actually might want to try defeating him without a power. I found it easier to defeat him without powers than it was with the power for some reason. Unless you have the spark power. Look out for the explosion, just stay in the corner, you'll be fine. Now, just look how fast he goes! And, wait, 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 go up here. Right here is fine. And, ah, oh, I, I was gonna say try to dodge the explosions too as well. This is what I mean about his attacks being so hard to dodge. But he's down, and that makes me happy. Whew! Super Saiyan Goliath didn't stand the chance. Well, it did, I guess, but... <laughs> I'm not too worried about losing that tomato, in all honesty, because... I got these bosses down so well now that I'm not really having much trouble getting their attack patterns done. Uh, the Sphere Doomers, they had some of the best improvements as well. Like that attack there, you gotta know to run under him as, it's, as he's charging up, otherwise you'll be expecting him to do that vertical electric attack that he did before that covers the whole screen top to bottom. Well, not the whole screen, just in a little straight line. And they, they team these guys up very well by charging, well them charging their attacks in sort of go oh, close formations oh my that was a close one i forgot the red one there does two charge attacks toward you it sort of fakes you out like that but this ice one this ice one is a total pain it's it it deliberately dodges your attacks and it does it so well so try and get it done as fast as you possibly can. That that's an explosion, you know those ice explosions. Now he's gonna be in the center. Now watch out for that those shards. Like that, that's another surprise attack, unless you're not paying attention. <laughs> I mean if you're not paying attention. Ah, see, he dodges your attacks so well. Oh, you can also flip the screen upside down. Uh, controls are the same though, except up is down and down is up. But that's just how it would feel anyway. Um do I, um, do I need that tomato? No, nah, I think I can make it. I can, I have faith in myself that I can do this with my health. As I said, they, they make much better use of these mini bosses in the arena than they did in the uh, actual EX mode. I should say the true arena. Now they're gonna have two at once. This, this combo right here is a tough combo. You got one that loves to jump in the air and shoot that beam attack. And you got one that throws coconuts in all directions. And I did really well there, I'm surprised. 
<laughs> um, Grand Doomer EX. I can do this without a tomato. I showed how to beat this in the last part. Alright, I even did it at, at less health than I have now, because in the e EX mode you have half health. So, let's get this started. Grand Doomer, you are going down, baby. Once and for all, your evil deeds will not go unpunished. It, even though I kind of invaded your territory a little bit. I mean, you were just like... I mean, you were the one that just had that ship piece and I took it away from you. I mean, I, I'm not sure you really knew that you were doing something bad. And, and actually, you actually weren't doing anything bad because, you know, if you recall, Mangalore was the evil one all along. And <laughs> so, if anything, this, the Grand Doomer is actually being good, preventing him from using his ship for evil. <laughs> well, if the lore actually belongs to anyone. So it's debatable if the Grand Doomer is actually evil despite its appearance. <laughs> and voila! Not too shabby. Alright, what's up next? I can grab this now, I suppose. It wouldn't hurt to recover health. This is another boss that they did an excellent job improving. Ooh, this boss gave me a lot of trouble the first time I went through it in the EX mode, and it still gives me trouble. It's... it can move along the ceiling now. And that's, that's its main, its main power here. Look at that, look at that. If you don't know that's coming, you're screwed. Oh, shoot, I forgot it goes along the bottom, too. <laughs> because you're going to keep taking hits from stuff like that. No, 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 do not body slam me. <laughs> oh, kill the fish before they get out of control. No, 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 no. And he's also a lot faster and more aggressive as well, so that's something that you got to look out for. And in his second mode here, he becomes giant size. Now, this can also go around the entire ceiling. And that's really hard to dodge because you have to drop to the ground quickly as you see him moving along. You can also shoot water droplets from the ceiling. Uh, whoa, 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 get up and go over his head because he actually moves us up and down this time to try and hit you so that you can't dodge it as easily. Again, it's another one of those things where... Uh, the EX bosses are designed to trick you based on your knowledge of the original boss. Alright, now you got a change of scenery here for the final four. Well, it's like final five, actually. Uh, I don't think I need the tomatoes for this. You've seen me beat the lore EX without any trouble. Well, without much trouble. I'll try to do it this time without taking a hit for the fun of it. Well, then again, I shouldn't be trying to take a hit anyway. I mean, I gotta conserve my energy for the true arena. <laughs> The hardest hat is yet to be shown. Woo! Yeah, I know, it's easy to dodge that. Just gotta get in the corner. That's why I didn't really make much effort to get out of its way ahead of time as I seen it charging up its blade there. And it seems like it has less HP in the true arena. I don't, I don't know why, it just feels like that. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? That? It's not gonna work, not gonna work as long as I keep moving. Gonna shoot again? Yep, you're gonna shoot again, but it's not gonna work because I'm gonna keep moving. And I'm going to go back to the foreground so I can shoot them. And look out for these. The red ones home in on you. The, well, they don't home in on you. He shoots the red ones directly towards you. So the red ones close the gap that you dodge in between the blue. The yellow ones come from the background. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, this. He goes back around in the other direction to try and trick you. So you think you're, you're going to have to go around in the same direction that he's going, but then he reverses direction and tries to get you in that tornado of sorts. Pretty tricky! Alright. Delightful run. No hits. Well, for me. <laughs> Next boss is, I believe, the game's secret boss. Oh, no, it's not. Well... This, this boss gave me a lot of trouble as well. I wonder if I should grab a tomato just for it. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have faith in my abilities that I can beat it. This is what happens after you beat the Metal General. He goes into this. It's known as HRD3. Dodge that attack like that, then move to the other side, shoot the drill, and that's how you damage him. Now, be on the lookout for his lasers and missiles. There's lasers, just jump across, just stay in the middle most of the time, and you should be fine. Just gotta watch him to be able to predict his attacks, and then you should be fine in this first phase. And he's gonna be shooting missiles, get into a corner, and then work your way back over to the middle, like that. No problem. And one more hit should do it, but it's not over yet. 
It's got a second form. Go over to the corner like this. Now you see the shadow coming for you. It's gonna bounce four times. That. Oh, I almost took a hit there. That's okay. Oh, he's gonna hit the ground four times, I should say. Look out for its laser. Stand underneath him. A lot of the attacks that he's got here are easily dodged if you just stay close to him. And remember to watch its positioning closely. Just to, to tell. I mean, to watch its body language closely to, to try and predict what kind of attack it's going to be doing. See how easy it is to dodge its attacks when you stay close to it? I think the reason why that is, is because it pushes you into the corner like this. Because it's so dang huge. <laughs> now it's going to be doing a move from first phase. And yes, you have to do this... Well, you would not... I shouldn't say you have to do this um, right after Metal General. But it comes right after Metal General without any healing whatsoever in the um, EX mode. So that may give you a little bit of trouble and you might die, but if you die to it, you'll start off at this phase. Well, not at this phase, you'll start off at the first phase of two of HRD3. And it's over. I did very well there. I'm surprised I did that well. <laughs> Whew. All right, what's next? Oh, this, this is the game's true secret boss, and this is what makes the true arena worth playing. You're looking at that picture, and you and if you played... Superstar Ultra on the DS, you're probably thinking to yourself, is that who I think it is? And the answer to that question is, yes. Galacta Knight, my favorite boss from Kirby Superstar Ultra and a very, very epic character in my opinion. And he's also a pretty dang hard boss, I have to say. I got, uh, got a sort of predict his attacks. I only beat him once before, so I hope I'm gonna do well here. <laughs> no wait, I beat him twice before, excuse me. Now he's gonna do a tornado attack. Because I, I actually try going through the arena twice. Oh, I'm gonna be quiet here for a second, listen. It's his theme song. I just thought I would let you take in that epic song for a second there if you were disappointed at hearing the Landia theme. And his powers not only can pierce your spark shield, I should say his attacks can, like this, ah, like that uh, arrow attack there, or sword attack, excuse me, but he can also block your spark, uh, your spark charges as well. Oh shoot, no, 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 not doing well, not doing well, must kill him. Oh, for this attack, get off to the corner. And do not jump, because they deflect off the ground. Oh, that was awesome! I love that boss. Probably favorite boss fight in the game, even though it's not that hard, I guess. Maybe I over-exaggerated there. Probably because it felt harder the first time and second time I beat him. <laughs> and yeah, I'm gonna, I just decided to grab that tomato, because there's only two bosses left. Alright, here we go. Megalore's first form without his super ability vulnerable phase. Megalore X! Let's do this all over again. And you see me dominate him with the spark before, and I intend on do it again. Uh, but his next form, the one that you're gonna see right after this Megalore Soul, that oh man, that's good. that gives me a little bit of trouble even now. I'm going to do my best to try and dodge its attacks the best I possibly can. Uh, it was especially hard for me to do when I was at half health in the EX mode. It took a bunch of tries for me to get, up, get it down. But I managed to do it, obviously, because I unlocked this. Um, spark Shield to simply block that. Any shots that he's got. Great. Oh, I mistimed that. I was trying to deflect his bombs while hitting him at the same time. That was just me being impatient. That's okay, and that, that attack looks different, but it plays out exactly the same. <laughs> yeah, it's just his laser. And come back in the foreground, there we go. Shoot me, shoot me. And oh, did, I, did I get nicked there? I'm not sure if I got nicked there. I wasn't really paying much attention. Look out for these thorny dimensional things as well. Just gotta pay attention to where the shadows are to see where they're coming from. Alright, one boss left, one tomato, well, 
I, I can just take both of them. This is the final boss. Wish me luck, even though I'm not going to hear it. <laughs> Freaky! Alright, let's take him down. Megalore Soul here. He is a lot less vulnerable than he was before. He, he doesn't make himself vulnerable very often. And he's also got those um, Gordo enemies he shoots at you as well. Look out for this. He's going to be shooting those things out of him. Um, duck in the center for this one or go into a corner. Uh, this one he's going to alternate. Duck on the ground where you don't see a star. And that's how you dodge that. Just use a spark shield to deflect those suckers or run in one direction. Oh man, I took a hit there because of those balls appearing off to the side. Freaking shadow balls. What's, wait, what's this? Oh, I recognize it. You see, shooting lasers between dimensions now. Look out for this. I'm trying to trap you, but you can just go underneath some of them, like I just showed you right there, depending on the position of the star. So pay attention to the ones that are further away from the ground and then walk under them. That's the best way I found to dodge it, or just to go over them if you can. I was going to go underneath me. I'm just going to dodge this. He's far too fast to even attempt hitting with my spark. And successfully dodged. Oh, dang it, he did it again. And what's the pattern going to be? Star. Uh, he's got a couple of different patterns, just like uh, um, a couple of other bosses have, you know, new attacks like that. But he's got a couple of different screen patterns that you're going to have to get used to that you may come across. Uh, look out for this attack. This Grand Hammer Ice attack is pretty devastating if you don't know how to dodge it. Get off to the side and I'll dodge that one and that one. And look out for the spikes as well because they're icicles on the ground. I'll get for the sword, get in the center, and go to the opposite side that you see his arm swinging. And now when he does both swords at the same time, go into the corner. And that's how you dodge that. I am doing well. I am doing very well. I am surprised. <laughs> For this attack, get in the center. See, he's charging up, he's charging up. Now, splits. Get in between like that. And just let them go across. And get. Let them go under you. And this one goes over you. And that's how you dodge that. I can't believe I'm doing this well. Why am I doing so well? <laughs> I didn't expect this to go this well. Um, wherever he is, don't be by him. Because he's shooting those dragon laser things, whatever the heck they're called, I have no idea. And don't let him teleport into you if at all possible. Oh, the screen flip of the uh, Ice Spear Doomer. This is this is going to throw you off if you don't have the hang of it. Uh, oh wait, he's going to try and charge. Yeah, not go over. That's good. Now what you going to do? What you going to do? What you going to try to do at least. Okay... Deflect, deflect, deflect. Yes! Almost done! Oh! Is this time bit left? Yes! Yes! This walkthrough is over! That was awesome! <sighs> Another creepy death. I did worse than I did on my first successful run. <laughs> Probably because I was overthinking things and talking a lot. But, uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> and... Beating that, you get... This video that I should probably show. Kirby Master! Epic Kirby Dance Movie, baby! Why is there a yellow Kirby there? What the heck? <laughs> I guess it's just to fill in the extra space over there of sorts. I mean, that's just Kirby's other personality. Also, I might as well show these special staff credits while I wrap up this walkthrough. Ah, so peaceful. And then, we move away from the landscape to go into space this time. For the relaxing finish. 
of Kirby's Return to Dreamland. Starring Bob Ross. No, not really. <laughs> I used to watch Bob Ross a lot though when I was a kid. The Joy of Painting. He was a very entertaining painter, I must say. His techniques were easy to understand and he was random. I recommend looking up uh, some Bob Ross stuff if you haven't or if you don't know of that guy. Definitely worth watching. <clears throat> and why am I talking about Bob Ross? I don't know, it just kind of led into that. <laughs> you know, with the gentle talking. You'll understand the gentle talking if you've seen a Bob Ross um, episode. Oh, this was such a fun walkthrough. I'm so sad that it's over. Why did it have to end? Why? I didn't know. This game is just so freaking awesome. It was just, it's such a worthy game to play. It's not that long. Well, I guess it's long if you play through the EX mode as well. But even so, you can burn through both modes pretty quickly. It's it's shorter than other games, but still worth a play. Everything is just so well designed. The music is phenomenal. As I've said, like 80 times throughout this entire walkthrough. <laughs> Lovely orchestrated soundtrack. You can't tell me that's not awesome. I mean, seriously. <laughs> but man, oh, why? Why does this have to be over? Seriously. I almost want to just make Kirby videos to play more Kirby for the sake of playing Kirby. <laughs> I am... Entirely addicted to this game. <laughs> ah, so calming. Well, in some spots. Epic in others. The game does a great job of setting the mood of things as well. Definitely one of the best games I've ever played. As I said before, as soon as I played through this game once, I knew for sure that I had to make a walkthrough on it. I could not avoid the brilliance that is Kirby's Return to Dreamland. Hey, I didn't see that in the game, that HAL thing over there. Was that in the game anywhere? I don't recall that being... Maybe it's in like a secret room or something like that that I didn't find. Like maybe it's in one of those... Um, secret rooms in those ability trial rooms inside the lore, you know, like where you have to use the sword throughout the entire area or bombs, stuff like that. And I just missed it. Because I don't recall that at all. Like there is uh, World 8. I see, I mean, I've seen all this stuff before except for that HAL room. That's uh, Kirby's epic battle with Magalore in with his me uh, Ultra Hammer. The super creepy Magalore Soul, probably a reference slightly to uh, Mark Soul from uh, Kirby Superstar Ultra. <laughs> I forgot to put the Ultra on there. I just, I just had like this pause, and I was like, Ultra. <laughs> and there's the lore flying in the background with the four Landias. Those are some very cute dragons, and again, a lot of the stuff in Kirby games are cute. It just comes with the territory. <laughs> but cute doesn't mean it can't be bad a double S. <laughs> Cuteness kills, you know. That's a fact. Most people know that. <laughs> As I said before, I did not make the game Nintendo and Hal did, I just made the walkthrough on it for entertainment as well as to help you out get through the game. The end. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next walkthrough. I actually, I should show something else too in the sound test, um, aside from the ni initial 96 songs. Um, they are there are now added ones. You, you'll notice that they're highlighted in gold here. See that? 97, 110 is of course my favorite.
Head banging! Urgh! Well, my favorite of the new songs, I should say. Okay, I'm I'm rambling on here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next walkthrough.